This former college basketball player is locked up tonight, accused of stealing a dump truck, then crashing it into the gates of the Mayport Naval Base. 24-year-old Rodney Simeon faced a judge just hours ago. And the News for Jacks reporter Brittany Jones was in the courtroom. Brittany, we could see in the video he's acting kind of odd. He had to be escorted away during his first appearance today. Yes, he was showing some really odd behavior inside of the courtroom. In fact, he kept smiling at our cameras and making obscene gestures with his fingers when he was inside of the courtroom. So they escorted him out. And after doing some digging today, I found out this isn't the first time he's gotten in trouble and shown that type of behavior. This is an officer escorting 24 year old Rodney Simeon out of the courtroom. The former college basketball standout dressed in a different uniform today, a green jumpsuit. You can see his strange behavior from smiling to laughing to strange gestures. Tuesday, the Flagler County Sheriff's Office said Simeon walked into a landscape company in Palm Coast, demanded gas, took a set of keys and ended up stealing this F-350 dump truck. Then 70 or so miles later, police say he ended up crashing the truck into Naval Station Mayport's gate. Police say a gun and a mask were found in the front seat of the truck, but it's unclear if it belonged to Simeon. But this isn't the first time the former Alabama state player has landed himself off the court and into jail. I pulled Simeon's records and found out he was just arrested in Orlando on June 2nd. According to the documents, Simeon was arrested on three motor vehicle charges, possession of marijuana and destruction of evidence. According to the arrest report, Simeon was eating marijuana and told the deputy he was, quote, ahead of the game and stuck his tongue out at the deputy to show the chewed up marijuana. Simeon, a 2018 NBA draft prospect who played two seasons at Alabama State and at one point was the leading scorer now facing burglary and grand theft auto charges. Now we did reach out to his family and the athletic director. We have not heard back. I'm also checking into if there will be any charges here in Duval County. Right now he's due back in court on June 24th in Flagler County. Reporting live downtown Jacksonville, Brittany Jones, Channel 4, the local station.